Hi guys, today I'm going to show you one of my favourite rhythm guitar tracks. Um, this is Thinking of You, Sister Sledge. Uh, the guitarist was the famous Nile Rogers, and we're going to look at this classic guitar part. Okay, um, it's kind of in two sections this. Um, the first eight bars has um, a recurring chord sequence which is going to be uh, G minor 7. D minor 7, then an E flat major, and a B flat major. But it's the way he plays it that makes it special. Okay, uh, the opening bar, which just happens on beat number 4, is just him giving it um, a 16th note scratch. So, and all you do there is just lightly rest your fingers on the strings just to choke them off and just go down, up, down, up. That's how he starts the whole thing. And then we're into the actual chord sequence itself. Right, when he plays the G minor 7, he actually just starts by barring his first finger across the 10th fret from strings 1 to 5. And he strums down. And then what he does, he hammers on his finger onto the 11th fret on the B string and on the 12th fret of the D string. So you get this effect. So you strum down, do the hammer on, then relax the chord, do a downstroke, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our little finger on the 13th fret of the first string E and hit that with an up. So you get this. That's the first beat. Relax the chord for the next muted down strum, which is on beat two, and we're back to the original uh, G minor seven shape. Going to do that with an up, then relax it two scratches. So beat number two is that. Okay. Right for the. For the next chord, for, for the D minor, he does something, again he goes back to that bar, two strums, down and up, does a, 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 a muted down strum, and then he, he just adds his third finger on the G string at the 12th fret, and really just hits the first three strings with an up, so you get, like that, and then it's followed by four scratches. So beats three and four together. Like that. So the first bar. Is what you're going to get. Okay. Um, bar number two. We're going to. It's going to be a. It's, it's an E flat major chord. But he only really plays a, a bar. On the eighth fret on the G, D and A strings. Drums and then two scratches and then pushes back down on the chord for the last up stroke. So you get like that. Two more scratches and then we're going to take that bar, move it down to the third fret, strum down and then hammer on the fifth fret on the A string. And this is kind of implying a, a B flat major chord here. So you are going to get like that. Then beat three, two scratches. Then we're going to play um, fifth fret on the G string, followed by another scratch. So beat three. Then beat four, we're going to start with a scratch, third fret on the G, two scratches. So those two beats together, like that. So yeah. Like that, and that's the second bar. Right, um, bar three is 
is pretty much the same as um, the first bar, so I don't think we need to go over that one again, really. That's why it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, bar four. Back to that E flat. And it's only really beats three and four that are different in this one. So we've got the normal E flat to the B flat with the hammer on. Now beats three and four. You're going to start with a scratch, down up, and you get a little bit of a B major. B flat major 7 chord here. Basically, all I'm going to do is your bar across the third fret on the first three strings, plus add in um, the fifth fret on the first string E. Two strums on that, down and up. Then beat number four, start with a scratch, then that little finger goes up to the sixth fret. Do an up strum, and then two scratches. So beats three and four together sound like this. Number five again. We've got that similar. The first two beats the same as they've been on um, bars number three and four. This is where it's a little bit different this time. Um, so on beat three, we've got that bar across the G, D and A strings at the 10th fret, strum, and then hammer on the 12th fret on the A string. One scratch, and then that's the 12th fret on the, on the G string, and then um, beat four, we're gonna do another scratch. I'm gonna play the 10th fret on the G string, followed by two scratches. So those two beats together, like that. Like that, okay. Bar number six. Again, we've got that E flat, which is just basically a bar and across the eighth fret. It's more like an E flat sus two, be honest at this point, but it's implying basic. The, if you're thinking of it in basic terms, it's an E flat chord. Um, okay, same thing again. Chord, scratch, scratch, chord. Two small scratches, and then we're going to do it's like a little B flat power chord. That's going to be a down up. That's on. We're holding down frets three on the G and D strings. Then two more scratches, and then we're going to hold down at the fifth fret on the G string. Do two strums on that, followed by a scratch, and then back to the B flat power chord shape. On and up, and then two scratches. So slowly that bar. Okay, uh, now bar seven. Again, just the first two beats just like they've always been. And then. In fact, saying that, this bar is the same as bar five. Yeah, that's it, so I don't think I need to explain that again. And then. The la bar eight. This is very different. Okay, so for the E flat, we're going to start with the bar, the eighth fret again. Strum down, hammer on the tenth fret on the A string, scratch, back to just the bar, so you get then two scratches. And then we're going to do um, a B flat major seven chord, uh, and the notes here are sixth fret on the B, seventh fret on the G, 
7th fret on the D and 6th fret on the E string. Now if you've not played this shape before, be careful to mute off the 5th string and the 1st string with the underneath of your fingers. It's very easy to push too hard and you end up hearing the 5th string which you don't want. Okay, so we've got this and we're going to hold it for the, um, it's going to be like the second half of beat two and the first half of beat three as well. So you kind of let it ring and then you're going to relax the chord, two scratches, press the chord down again for two and then release it again for two scratches. So that bar slowly Okay, so that's the end of the, the kind of the first half of the section. Um, the second half, which is what you normally hear over the uh, over the chorus, is actually only two chords: an E flat major seven and a B flat major seven. But again, being Noel Rogers, he does something a little bit different. He, he um, varies it slightly. So, first of all, I'll give you the E flat major seven shape. Basically, you're barring across um, fret number six from the first to the fifth string. Little finger plays the eighth fret on the B. Second finger plays the seventh fret on the G. And your third finger playing the eighth fret on the D string. We hold this chord, we play it once. Then relax it, do another down, uh, a scratch, and then press the chord down for an up. So you get this. Relax it two scratches. So you get like that. Then we're going to go to that B flat major seven shape. Do a down strum, and again it's lasting for the first, uh, second half of beat two, first half of beat three. Then play it. Scratch, scratch. Chord, scratch, scratch. So together to give you the idea of the rhythm. Okay, um, then the next bar, which would be um, bar 10, does the same thing with the E flat major 7, so chord, scratch, chord, scratch, scratch. And then what he does is um, a B flat major 7, but it's a, it's a different shape, and he slides into this from uh, probably a fret lower. So first of all, the shape, you're barring across frets on the 10th fret, temp fret on the first three strings and you're also holding down the 8th fret on the D string so it's like a higher voicing of B flat major 7 and he slides into it so he strums, it slides, strums then hits it again two scratches chord two scratches so together it sounds like this Um, bar 11 is going to be the same as um, bar 9. Uh, and then bar 12 is going to be... Right, so it's slightly different here. Um, e flat major 7. Just like we've done before. Chord, scratch 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 um, now when he plays the B flat major 7 this time it looks more like a D minor shape so we're, this time I'm barring with my first finger on the 10th fret first three strings I'm also holding down the 12th fret on the D string do two strums with that then a scratch and then we can add our little finger on the B string strum that and then we pull that little finger off 
and then we get a scratch chord. We'll actually be an upstroke. So you get. And then we take that whole shape, move it down one fret, strum down, and then move it back up, hit it with the upstroke, and then two scratches. So if I put that bar together slowly, more of a challenge with that one with the, with the pull off in the middle there. And that quick call change, that quick move with the left hand. Okay, All right, the next bar is going to be just like the beginning again. And this one's slightly different. Um, when he goes up to the higher B flat major seven, um, the E flat major seven just before, as before, called scratch, called scratch, scratch, slides into that B flat major seven chord, but it's just the rhythm of it. Um, it's just slightly different. It's less scratching in it. It's kind of on on the second half of beat three, and it's kind of played very short. And then two strums followed by a scratch. If I play the rhythm of the bar, it'll make more sense, I think. So. So it's, it's just a slight variation. You don't have to do it, but it, it's what he does on the record, so it's up to you. Okay, uh, and then we're into the last two bars. Just like before, just like the beginning of this section. And then, uh, this time, um, E flat major seven, same thing as before, chord, scratch, chord, scratch, scratch, into the higher B flat major seven. And he holds it there for a beat and a half, and then just plays a, a, little, a little double stop on on beat number four, which is, you can either play like a little B flat major bar chord or maybe just a double stop where you're just holding down um, the sixth fret on the B and E strings. That bar on its own. Oh, I'll put the last two bars together actually. Um, Okay, uh, hopefully this all makes perfect sense. Um, probably one other thing I would, I would say about the way he plays his chords on this, is, is he's got a very chunky quality to his sound. It's very light. Um, and I think what he's doing there is, is when he's holding the chords, he's not always pushing them all the way down. He's kind of got, got a very light touch, so you get more of a... rather than a... So he's just lightly pushing on the chords for most for most of it, I think. And the only times when he's really pushing down is when some of those B flat major sevens, where they're ringing. I think he's pushing all the way down for those. But I think the majority of the time he's got a very light left hand touch. It's worth experimenting with that to just to see if you can get as close as you can to that kind of chunky quality that he um, he shows on the record. Bit of a classic, this. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun.